We as humans have quite a competitive nature. We can't help it. It's in our blood. So it's only natural that we will find all sorts of things to compete in. While some of you may think of football, basketball, 100 meter dash or other classic sports competitions, today we at Curiosity Factor have something else in mind. People keep coming up with ridiculous, outrageous and sometimes just insane competitions in order to test the weirdest of abilities. And today we will look at six such weird and funny competitions from around the world. Who knows, maybe you will find your hidden talent while watching this video, so next year you can be the world champion. Let's get started. Number 1. Wife Carrying Race This gruelling obstacle course is a true test of strength, endurance and marriages. It originated from Finland, but it has since spread all over the world. For example, the North American Wife Carrying Championship, which takes place in Maine, follows Finland's official rules for the competition, keeping the length of the track at 278 yards and the number of obstacles, two dry obstacles and one wet. However, the main competition differs from the Finnish one in one aspect. They do not require the participants to be married, but the partners need to be of the opposite genders, male and female. Registration is $25 and the winner receives the wife's weight in beer and five times her weight in cash. Number 2. Cheese Rolling Championship How fast can you run down a hill? And how big is your love of cheese? Also known as Cooper's Hill Cheese Rolling and Wake, this cheese rolling competition is an annual event held in the village of Cooper's Hill, England. It basically has participants race down a hill after a round wheel of local cheese. The participants are the ones who actually get to toss the cheese down the hill, then run after it. Sounds pretty fun, right? The origins of this ceremony aren't quite clear, but it is believed to date back to 1826. The good part is that everyone can participate in this competition, but before you sign up, keep in mind that this includes a lot of running and possibly some scratches and bruises. 3. Worm Charming Championship Probably the worst superpower of all time, the ability to attract worms is celebrated nonetheless through the yearly Worm Charming Championship. The competition lasts only 30 minutes, and contestants can use whatever techniques imaginable to raise as many worms as they can to the surface of their designated section. From poking the ground with pitchforks, to playing the bongos in order to attract worms, many have participated in this competition over the years. The first championship was held in 1990, but since it has grown to become quite a celebrated sport in some parts of the world. Believe it or not, the current world record is held by a 10 year old girl, who managed the incredible feat of raising 567 worms in 2009. 4. Chess Boxing If you've ever been so frustrated by a chess opponent that you wished you could just leap across the board and kick the heck out of them, this might just be the ideal sport for you. Chess boxing is a hybrid fighting sport where opponents alternate between rounds spent playing chess and boxing. Surprisingly, this was initially conceived by a Dutch artist who intended it to be just a piece of performance art, but somehow it became popular. So popular that now it is a full-fledged competitive sport with announcers, commentators, ring girls, and even an affiliation with major television sports networks like ESPN. And yes, there has been competitions like this organized by YouTubers. Number 5. The World Sauna Championships Do you think you can take the heat? Then you should definitely take part in the yearly World Sauna Championships in Heinola, Finland. This competition is an endurance test, in which contestants try to sit the longest in a 230 degree sauna. The competition lasts for two days, divided into five rounds for men and three rounds for women. Every 30 seconds, a half litre of water is added to sauna to keep the steam flowing and challengers must sit up straight with their thighs and buttocks on the seat. They cannot touch any surface with their hands and forearms, have to be up in an upright position and must stay on their knees. The person who sits longest and is able to walk out of the sauna under their own power is declared the winner. Number 6. The World Gurning Championship Gurning contests are a long-standing tradition in rural England. The most notable competition by far is the World Gurning Championship, held annually at the Ergmont Crab Fair, which dates back all the way to 1267, when King Henry VIII granted the fair a royal charter. When it comes to the gurn, making an ugly face, contestants traditionally frame their faces through a horse collar, another tradition known as gurning through a braffin. They also howl like dogs in order to appear more savage. 
The Gurners who typically get the highest scores from judges are those with no teeth, as this permits them greater freedom of motion to contort their lips and jaws to make extremely wacky faces. What other weird competitions do you know of? Have you participated in any? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you enjoy learning fun and interesting facts, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching and we will see you again in our next video.